Welcome back to a new video on the channel and today I thought the sun's out so uh, let's start taking care of some of those little upgrades I'm going to do on my uh, BMW X6. If you saw the last show you would have seen that there were certain things that I said I was going to get done. Uh, one of the things I didn't say I was going to get done but I'm going to get done is the navigation because I said in the previous video when we went to Stockholm the maps didn't seem to be that updated. So what I did was I went into the system, I can show you actually, I went into the system, checked out the, the map settings and everything else and then I discovered that the, the navigation on this car has never been updated. Yes, yeah, so I thought what I'll do is I'll uh, update that map. Um, right, and then I thought I'd do a video on it as well, so I'll show you guys how it's all done. So what you need to do is, you need to go on the map menu, and then you click options. So, you know, and that's options, which is that button there, that's this option. And then you, you're gonna scroll down to where it says navigation system version, you click on there, and then it's gonna t tell you all the information of your map. So you can see it says Europe, BMW Group, Roadmap, Europe, Next, and in 2014. Now, look, this car is a 2015 car, but obviously it's manufactured in 2014. So that just goes to show you that this map has never been updated. So we can still on the 2014 map, version two of that. Right, anyway, when you are gonna update your uh, iDrive system, what the information you're gonna need is, is, is what kind of map you want. So it's, it's Europe, obviously. And also it says Next there. And then, uh, so that's that's the map source you, you need. It's the next map. And then obviously MBT, that tells you what kind of system you're running, um, what kind of iDrive system you're running. Because I've got different kinds, the older, the older the car, I think they start off with CIC, and then they went into this MBT, and the MBT Evo and all that sort of stuff. So this is an MBT, and it's a next, a Europe next. So that's the map that I'll be looking for to get to download first of all. First of all. Right, so once you've got all that information now, you know what kind of map you need, you, you need to find the map. So uh, there's there's many ways of doing this. You can do it the BMW way, but that, I think that costs quite a bit of money. What you need to do is download the map to a uh, thumb drive, like that. Uh, it has to be over 16 gig, I believe, uh, depending on what the size of the map is. But, but I'd say go with one that's about 60, around 60 gig. And then you know whatever map you put on it, you're gonna have enough room. What else? Yeah, and also you're gonna need something what's called an FSC code, all right? Now FSC codes, you can get them like a one-off or you can get them a lifetime. Now there's no, it makes no sense getting a one-off one. So whenever you pay for one, make sure you get a lifetime because that what that means is once you've put that code in, you'll never need to put another code in after that. You can just like update the map and it won't ask you for the code because you have lifetime. When it comes to getting the codes, like I said, you can you can go to BMW and get one, or you can go to uh, other outlets that sell them as well and sell the FSC codes. Uh, I know some people actually on the internet, they've actually downloaded a program that uh, generates an FSC code, and there's also places where you can find maps and that. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into that, but what I did was I went down the buying it from, not from BMW, but someone else, yeah? So I got the maps, downloaded the map to a, a thumb drive, and I also got an FSC code in there. So the next stage, when you've got the map, when you've got the FSC code, all right, you've got to find the right place in your car to plug the USB drive into. Now on my car, as far as I know, I don't know if there's one here, no, as far as I know, there is only one place where you put a USB drive in this car, and that is, uh, in my little sort of center console here. So I'm going to plug that in and it says that as soon as you plug that in on the screen, it should recognize that immediately. And also it says that you should have the car running as well because you're going to need the car running at all time. Right, there you go. And it's found it and it says USB device contains more recent version uh, navigation data. Some navigation function will be temporarily unavailable. And it says click to start update. So we'll do that. And I think at this point, they're gonna ask me for the FSC code. Hopefully. <laughs> 
Right, yeah, so this is the this is the point where I'm gonna put my FSC code in. So when you when you have downloaded it, um, yeah, this is the point now where you put that FSC code in. I'm gonna stop recording, put the code in, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so once you put the code in, you'll get to this screen here. It'll automatically switch over to this screen here and it will start loading. Now, I've seen that this thing can take up to like 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, you're meant to have your car running at all times as well, which means, yeah, I guess the best time to do something like this is when you're planning a little trip where you're gonna be in the car for like half an hour to an hour. So uh, I ain't gonna do that, but what I'm gonna do is, is uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep the car running. And also I'm just gonna yeah, drive around a bit, just keep the car running. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pick my daughter up in a minute so I, I can do that. But um, yeah, so you get to this screen and I guess once it's 100%, uh, we'll go into the uh, settings again and see, uh, see if we've got our new maps. Yeah, anyway, I'll get back to you. Yeah, just to let you know how long it does take, uh, the time is 14.07. We started doing this at 14.04 and uh, it's five percent done so uh yeah we'll get back to when it's 100 percent and see what the time is okay so with around 15 minutes gone we are at 36 percent. so this is going pretty quick so hopefully uh 15 minutes of say yeah around 40 minutes is looking like but we'll see when we get to the end anyway okay 50 percent done and the time is 27 so it's 23 minutes to get 50% uh, done. So we're looking at 46 minutes, aren't we? All right, I'll get back to you at 100%. So now it's 99% done and the time is 14.49. So that means it's been doing, it's been running for 45 minutes. So roughly, I mean, this is a map of Northern Europe. So if you're getting a map of Northern Europe, uh, yeah, you're looking at about 45 minutes for, for your system to, done, to, to get done. And now it's gone into a starting navigation system. So I guess it's just doing the finalized bits of it. So we'll just let it run through. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, we'll take a look to see if it's been updated. So once you got it all done, what I did was anyway, yeah, I restart the car and then this map comes up. It says it's successfully uh, updated. So I'm gonna click on okay. Then after that, I'll, put, I'll click on the option and then let's go to navigation system version and see if it reads the new one here. And yep, there you go. Roadmap Europe West next 2023.2. I guess that's the latest map they've got. Because I mean, BMW, I think they update their maps two, three times a year as well. So this is the second update this year, I guess. That's the reason why it says slash two. Yeah, so um, that's the first bit I've done of the car. That was a little bit that was annoying me about the car, the fact that the uh, navigation was so so crappy. But now I know why, because it was like, what, eight years old. <laughs> so uh, yeah, first bit done. Next bit, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put a little dash cam in there and I'm gonna get rid of this, this thing here. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Get rid of this phone adapter thing because Let's face it, no one can use that anymore. And then just have this as a nice little space. Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.